So there's been a lot of interesting data presented and a lot will be presented today as well. I have to say, uh, I think the highlight of the Congress was the Natalie phase three trial. This was a trial of adjuvant ribocyclib for three years for patients with hormone receptor positive, high risk, early stage breast cancer. And interestingly, we, we have already an adjuvant CDK approved that is a bimocyclib based on the monarchy data, but this is only for patients with node positive disease. Whereas in Natalie, there were also patients with high risk node negative disease included, which is a very large population. And it was important to see in this trial the um, IDFS curves diverge, and so there seemed to be a benefit uh, at two and three years with the use of uh, ribocyclib versus uh, placebo, and there was a 25% reduction in the risk of recurrence. It is still an early time point, because more than 80% of the patients are still receiving ribocyclib in the study. They still haven't discontinued, haven't completed the three years, and so I think we have to wait some more time in order to fully understand what will happen to these patients but I think it's very encouraging at this point to see this benefit that we did not see with palbocyclib for instance and knowing that ribocyclib improved overall survival in the metastatic setting we hope that the benefit in the early setting can be maintained and that in the future we might have this treatment option for our patient if the benefit is confirmed there were other important trials but I would like to highlight a small uh, poster that was discussed yesterday during the poster discussion by Dr. Abelman. This was uh, an important clinical question because nowadays uh, we're use, utilizing antibody drug conjugate in clinical practice and sometimes we use sacituzumab and govitecan after TDXD or the opposite way around and we really have no data with these agents used in sequence and this retrospective analysis of uh, about 30 patients that received an ADC after another ADC that was presented yesterday showed that potentially there might be decreased activity of the second ADC used in sequence and suggested some potential features that we have to look at. So for instance, changing the target, changing the payload. And I think it's very early. We need more data, we need larger real world experiences, but I think it started to answer an important question for which we definitely need data in order to inform clinical practice.